Hi guys, my name is Julia and today I'm going to show you how to paint this graphic eyeliner look and if you are thinking that this is difficult to recreate, stop thinking this right now because I will break it into very simple steps. I also used to think that creative looks were difficult to do, but actually they're not as difficult as they sometimes seem. And before we jump into the tutorial, can I just quickly make a confession, tell you something. So August is actually my birthday month and although I'm one of those people who love their birthdays, you know, before the birthday it always feels a bit anxious and maybe even a bit sad. You think about the past year and all the stuff. And that's why I'm doing colorful makeup to cheer myself up. That's why I'm sharing it to cheer everybody up who maybe is having a difficult day or just to make a good day even better. And if you want to give me a virtual birthday gift, the best you can do is watch this video till the end and give me a thumbs up. And if you are feeling super generous, then you can leave a comment and maybe subscribe to this channel if you aren't yet. Just thought, wouldn't it be cool if YouTube and Instagram made such gifts, you know, on your birthday they would give you the latest video or post more exposure? <laughs> of course they're never going to do that because that doesn't benefit them and their business. Okay, so. I'm shutting up about all this stuff and going right into painting the side. Well, the first step is pretty basic. After you've primed your eyelids, pack on orange eyeshadow with a big eyeshadow brush. Blend it out with a lighter orange color when you're happy with the amount of orange you have. Start drawing the eyeliner and the key trick here is not to follow your lower lash line as I usually recommend to do, but rather to make the tail more horizontal. So when you close or half close your eye, the top part of the eyeliner should be horizontal because the house will be standing on the tip of your eyeliner. For that reason, also bring it out farther so that when you move your eyelids, the house will still be visible. Do the ombre eyeliner as I showed in my colorful ombre eyeliner tutorial and after that start topping your wing with eyeshadows of similar colors so that you get a more opaque coverage and so that the orange eyeshadow does not transfer on your eyeliner. And after you are done with that, take a white primer or if you don't have a white high primer you can just use a white or a very light liquid lipstick and outline the house. It should stand on the tip so that when you close or open your eye the house is still visible. Fill it in completely with white or with another light color and then take a white eyeshadow and top the walls. Take a green eyeshadow and top the roof. Use a small eyeshadow brush or a small eyeliner brush to do that. And after you're happy with the amount of green and the white, take the white primer again, draw tiny windows and doors and use the same brush to top the windows with purple and to top the door with blue. After that, take a matte black liquid eyeliner, I'm using NYX Epic Wear eyeliner, and outline the house, the windows and the doors so that it's really nice and neat and very visible. You only need to finish the lower lid after you remove the fallout and add the mascara and use the same colors that you did for your eyeliner and that way you will have a completed eye look. Also as you can see it is really horizontal and the house seems to be standing on it and it is very much visible when you are moving your eyes around. And this is it, here is the final look. Don't forget to check out this other colorful tutorials, reviews and makeup hacks on this channel. I cannot thank you enough for watching till the end. Love you. See you in my next video. Bye-bye.